Hey guys, just wanted to get back at you again with another video. This one is about how I deal with my directories, files, and file management, and just the weird, the nuances of how I like things set up in my system. So over here, I got my home directory, and I got the major subject areas of my files and my interests listed out in these directories. Now, they all have capital first letters. These are the only directories that should have capital letters is the first letter of the directory. Um, and these are the ones in the home directory. I like to think of it as like these are the formal front faces of the entire subject matter holding container. Um, so I want that like you know nice looking capital letter on these. Plus I also know that if it's in my home directory it should start with a capital letter. If I keep consistent with that rule I won't really have any issues when I'm trying to you know tab complete my um, file paths. So I, I do it this way. Now in my subdirectories, everything is always lowercase. If I need to have like multiple word named directories, I don't like spaces, so I just do um, camel case. Uh, so I got like these. Oh, these are kind of empty, but like um, you know. Or in this case, so for my business, um, I have a side business and I make leather stuff. Um, but I have certain of these areas now. I don't actually like go into the shell into these areas very much um, in this, so this is why I also like them organized. If I left them alphabetized, then archive would be at the top, but then a lot of this, then it would just be business photos. Um, I wanted things organized a specific way. Um, the way is really, I just wanted it to be exactly the same as it was before, so I just kept the letters, but I also did some consolidation, but really I did the numbering um, just so it's easier to index it. Like I can go down and I know that Oh, I can see it on the left. I can go over to my terminal and just do 01 tab complete. It can be a long name of a directory. I don't have to remember the letter. Um, it could just be the number. But again, I'm not in here very often, so I just did it organized that way. Um, but also, when doing the, the numbers, it means the numbers are, I can just tab complete on. So I don't need to, to do a capital or lowercase letter. And having the uppercase letters there just look nicer to me. So I can go in here, I can look at my files. Now what I did is that I, with a lot of these files, um, I also renamed a lot of them. I got rid of uh, spaces, I got rid of weird, just you know the, the default strings of text that photos get. I actually renamed almost every file I have. I went through everything meticulously. Um, it took me hours, but it was so satisfying. Now with using this directory system, and everything in the terminal. I like everything a specific way, and I like how this is set up, how it works. Um, if you can see that there, that's my business, Norseman Leatherworks. Um, you can find me on Etsy if you want, but yeah. So let's see, what else we got here? Uh, some documents, uh, downloads, pictures. Got a lot of pictures. These are all lowercase. Now you can see, like right here, I got some YouTube thumbnails. These are camel case because I have multiple words, but I don't like spaces. I do not like how spaces look in directories, and I just don't like it. I, pl I pretty much always stick with camel case and serial dates of year, month, day, just because of that indexing. So if I can put all of my files uh, made on a certain day with um, that serial date at, as the first thing, so I know what date it is. Um, it becomes easier to search something from a particular time frame. I can just do 2017, tab. Okay, what are all the files in 2017? Maybe I know the month, maybe I know the year. Um, it's easier to search for that, but also if it's specific days, I can look at things in that specific day or do like, or grep them out or something. So if I go in here, you can see these are the dates of my file, of my um, YouTube videos that I put out. So I easily can see when I put the video out. So it chronologically orders them too. It's not alphabetical. And then I also have, um, camel case on those, well, not on the first letter because I want it to look aesthetically nice because it already has that um, serial date in there. So I open it up, it only has the thumbnail because it's all I'm keeping in here. There we go. So this is how I'm organizing all my directories. Now my home directory is like my drop point for things I'm currently working on or have to do something else. These are the other videos I just shot uh, a few minutes ago and I'm going to deal with all of that and then get it all out of here. The home directory is kind of like just a drop point in my current, like I'm working in here right now, um, space, but everything else should be in um, one of these directory folders, except for like, you know, the readme from the Git repository for this, for my dot files, and then like this icon of my face that I typically put on social media. But yeah, you can look at my face.
Yay. So that's how I organize my directories. Um, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, just lots of different things. I like everything sorted, like breadcrumbs down. Like I like to know everything is like itemized in some separate directory with a specific convention of um, casing, naming, and serial dates for file indexing. This is exactly how I am at work. I'm meticulously organized like this, um, but my own personal computer, I was super lazy. It's always like that thing where, like you know, you're you're super OCD, germaphobe, clean everything at work and then you get home and it's like uh, a hoarder's house but um, so now everything is consistent everything is clean everything follows this convention at home at work everywhere and it's all because I am now moving completely into this Linux terminal based system which I enjoy very thoroughly so that's all I had peace out